Hey everybody, ampreparaguide.com 203-892-4119 So we have another Ameritron AL811 here. Someone tried to do the bias mod and they botched it all up. So I'll fix that. I will replace the gas discharge tubes. Customer had a tube flash. I just don't take any chances. Sometimes they survive a short sometimes they won't I just don't want the customer to have a future problem so I go above and beyond and swap those out looks like he only has one in here anyway I like to have one on each side of the filament so it's getting a brand new parasitic board I don't take any chances with this either when it's all cooked underneath need and you can see these are shot. So I'll replace the SO239. They just PL259 slips right in and out. And I'll go through the rest of it. So I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys in a bit. I have a whole bunch of these here right now, so I have a lot, to, a lot of work to do. So see you soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811. Had to replace both fuses. Took out the bias mod someone tried to do. Put the longer screw in for the plate choke. Changed the SO239 connectors and took out the old gas discharge tube. Replaced that gas discharge tube with two brand new ones. Put a new parasitic board in there. Here's the old one. So, someone really burgered up the board, whoever did the bias mod, so I fixed that and connected the bias mod over here instead to the center top wire for the filament. See, it's all done up nice, nice. Replaced the meter protection diode, tightened up on hardware, cleaned up some solder joints. It's got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Cleaning the rotary switches, you know, the input rotary switch and the output rotary switch, you know, band switch. And uh, this thing is good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. 73.